In this class, uh, we will derive a, a one important uh, matrix called strain displacement matrix denoted by B for a ball element. So, ball element two node, <coughs> two node or one dimensional ball element. So, this is the two node, the one and two are the nodes, two node ball element which has got one degree of freedom at each end. So, here one DOM at each node. So Q1 and Q2, they are the nodal displacements along the axis of the element. And uh, at node 1, I have taken the natural coordinate zeta as minus 1. And at node 2, zeta is plus 1. So it varies from minus 1 to plus 1. And uh, if you take a reference axis, vertical axis, from that uh, x is measured, so x is the global uh, coordinate and zeta is the natural coordinate. Now from this uh, reference, x of reference to node 1, distance is x1 and to node 2, distance is x2. So if you take x2 minus x1, that, is, that gives the length of the element Le. So q1, q2, they are the nodal displacements at 1 and 2, nodes 1 and 2. So here, from the theory of elasticity concept, uh, we know that the uh, strain is given by du by dx. Here, I have, I have taken direct derivative, total derivative because u is a function of only x here. So it is a one dimensional element, u is a function of x. Therefore, I have taken the strain as du by dx, where u is the displacement and epsilon is the strain. So this can be written using uh, the chain rule as du by d zeta into d zeta, d zeta by dx. Now the shear function for a two dimensional, uh, a, a two node bar element, it has been proved that n1, n2 they are the shear functions, they are given by 1 minus zeta by 2 and 1 plus zeta by 2. So this, uh, already you know this. Now we know that uh, this uh, displacement model for a two dimensional, uh, for a two noded uh, ball element is given by u is equal to n1 q1 plus n2 q2, where u is the displacement at any point, at any point uh, in the element. So u is the displacement at any point in the element. So by knowing the shear functions and by knowing the nodal displacements, you can always compute the displacement at any required point, at any required point along the element using this uh, relationship. So this is the displacement model for a two loaded bar element. Now substituting for n1 and n2, so u is equal to 1 minus zeta by 2 into q1 plus 1 plus zeta by 2 into q2. Now if you just simplify that, you will get half into 1 minus zeta into q1 plus half into 1 plus zeta into q2. Now I want this derivative. So du by d zeta I need because I have to substitute here to get an expression for uh, strain epsilon. So du by d zeta, if you differentiate this partially with respect to zeta, so please note that here q1 and q2 they are constants. So not a displacement. Once you know they are constants, so if you differentiate this with respect to zeta, you get minus q1 by 2 plus q2 by 2 and this can be written in matrix, matrix form as minus half plus half q1 q2. So if you multiply this, uh, uh, you will get this. So now half you can take outside minus 1 in minus 1 1 q1 q2. And also we know the relationship between the natural coordinate and the global coordinate in a, two, in a one dimensional member, it is like this. zeta is equal to 2 times x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1. So this x2 minus x1 is nothing but Le, length of the element. So this, if you differentiate this zeta with respect to x, because I have to substitute here. Now we have got this, this value is this one. And uh, the value of d zeta by dx, uh, if you take, uh, if you differentiate this posture, uh, you differentiate this with respect to x, uh, x1 is constant, x2 is constant, you are going to get 2 divided by Le. Now, both these two 
we have obtained. Now by multiplying these two, you can get the expression for strain. So strain is equal to substituting two and three in one. You are going to get the expression for strain. du by d zeta into d zeta by dx. du by d zeta is this half into minus one into one minus one one q one q two. And uh, d zeta by dx is two divided by l. Now if you simplify this, these two gets cancels. And one by l into minus one one q one q two. So here this can be written in this fashion. Epsilon is equal to this thing. This matrix can be written as B, and into this matrix can be written as Q. So here, so this is the nodal displacement matrix, whereas this is called as the strain displacement matrix. So the strain displacement matrix uh, gives the relationship between the strain and the nodal displacement. So that is nothing but one by L into minus one one. This is for a Two node bar element. So this strain displacement matrix uh, depends on the type of the element. So whether it is one dimensional or two dimensional, or two node or three node, or in case of two dimensional, whether it is four node or eight node, like that. It depends on the type of the element. Now this is the expression uh, for the strain. Now from the strain, you can find out the stress by using the Hooke's law, which is the elastic limit. So you know that stress is equal to Modulus of elasticity multiplied by the strain. So that is if you substitute uh, for strain here, so you will be getting E into one by L e minus one one Q one two two. So this is the uh, stress matrix. So from the strain matrix, you can get the stress matrix. So in total, I can write like this: strain is equal to strain is equal to strain displacement matrix multiplied by nodal. Displacement matrix and stress is equal to nodal displacement uh, is strain displacement matrix into nodal displacement matrix into Young's modulus matrix. So this is how we can get the uh, strain matrix and uh, stress matrix for a uh, one-dimensional bar element or a two-noded bar element.